Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a howling wolf dra uh, tattoo drawing design. I'm gonna go over this for beginners, so uh, it's gonna be step by step. I'm gonna be using this. This is a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in buying that. It's basically just like a, kind of a thin brush pen. It's not even a brush really, it's just like a thin pen. Uh, like a thin marker will do as well. That's pretty much it, but this is for beginners. So let's get into it and let me draw your attention. Let's get going. So I'm gonna do this in two layers, okay? I'm gonna draw the basic structure first. So I think of the wolf howling as a box form. If you think of it in 3D, I'm thinking of just the structure. Right, so I think of it as like a, a like a, a expanding box going back from the snout, it's gonna be aiming up, going down. And I'm thinking of that box form, so it'd be the lower jaw right here. Just thinking it very simplistic, and you wanna do these things uh, in chambers, like for example, you're going over structure, positioning, and then you go into the detail. And you wanna go over that in layers, uh, because you don't wanna be thinking of five different things at once. If you're thinking of the detail and the structure and the form, you know, you don't wanna do that. The easiest way is to think of it in, in, uh, in levels, so that you don't have to do it all at once, and it will come out better that way. I'm thinking of the split in the mouth that's gonna be open here. I'm just kind of thinking about the mouth opening and him howling. And then I'm gonna draw just where the eye is generally gonna be. Again, I'm drawing very thick because I'm gonna throw this paper underneath the other one. Maybe where the jaw changes position here. And these are all visual notes I'm making for myself. Uh, I'm thinking of the jaw, the back of the jaw here, the howling up there, uh, maybe the nose up here. And like again, these are purely for position. And the ear over here coming out. So these are my simple box shapes. And I'm thinking like it's extremely simple. And right, right, I'm gonna end it right here at the neck. It's just gonna go down into uh, just like the main. So this is one layer, okay? I'm gonna, I got my structure down. It's purely for positioning and that's it. And I'm going to grab that paper and I'm gonna slide it underneath another. The paper I'm using is eight and a half by 11 uh, printing paper, just a normal one. But you can actually see through it slightly. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but for me, I can actually vaguely see an image right there. So now I don't have to think about positioning anywhere near as much. There might be things that shift, but I, won't, I don't have to think about positioning. Uh, so I'm gonna go in now to the detailed form. And again, this is gonna be a tattoo design, so I'm thinking uh, for this one, it's gonna be more contrasted. It's not gonna be shaded. It's gonna be very, uh, like very contrasted with edges. And I'm gonna throw a shape here for the nose, kind of the bulbous nose. pull down to the front of the snout back along the top of the mouth there it's gonna go up into kind of the forehead where the brain's gonna be right into the eye the brow pulling back after the skull I'm going to go in with the eye shape, and the eye's going to be closed, so it's going to be a single line. Kind of thickened out. Let's go to the front here. Front of the mouth. Actually going to pull it down, so I'm going to chop into that shape I drew originally. Tooth. Tooth. You can see that into the underside of the mouth as it's howling. Pull back. Then that dark shape is going to connect. It's 
So that's the open portion of the mouth, the howl. I'm gonna pull that shape in now that I'm kind of working with it. It's gonna be the bottom jaw. That's gonna pull back down. Pull a line here underneath the eye. And at this point, I'm gonna throw spiked shapes here for the mane. I'm gonna try to end them and I'm gonna try to make them not too redundant. Back of the ear to be pointed. Edge of the ear. And that's also gonna have a dark shape. Again here, I'm gonna connect the bottom of the neck. So what I'm gonna do now that I have that in there, I'm gonna pull out the underneath paper. See, this is the paper underneath. And this is the shape I'm left with. And now I'm gonna go, now that I have the proportion there, for the most part, I'm gonna go in with kind of more detail. I'm gonna thicken out certain lines. So I'm gonna draw edge of the jaw here toward the bottom. Same thing on this side. A little portion of the front of the mouth here. Thickening out that line. Accentuate the thick to thin line here. Thick line below the ear. So a lot of it has to do with the sun coming from up, from above, right? Which is like a typical, uh, typical light source comes from up to down. So a most of, the, not, I mean, not always since it's, it's a tattoo design, but a lot of them tend to range on thicker shapes being toward the bottom because of that. You want to kind of slightly replicate that, the fact that this, that there's a light source from above. I wanna throw a little bit more detail toward the front of the face. I feel like it needs it a little bit. I don't wanna leave any floating shapes, but I think it kinda needs it. about it. I need to thicken some of the lines above here because uh, I guess this is more of a, you know, I told you the design, design element. And I think that's pretty much it. 
thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate uh, all the, the cool things that's said on the channel. Uh, I hope to be doing a lot more. If you like the way I taught this, I was doing it through layers, uh, give me a like. Also, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think in general, what, what kind of tattoos you want to request, because I want to start doing these uh, much, much, much more. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I will talk to you guys soon. One last thing, uh, don't forget there is a free How to Shade ebook that is available. Uh, it's an ebook that's been out for a little bit. Uh, I might sell it as a product pretty pretty soon, but for now it is just uh, free right there. So it goes over three basic shapes you need to learn how to shade in order for you to shade anything in nature. Uh, and I go over that in that ebook. It's about 10 pages, totally free. It's easy to print. And uh, thank you so much for everybody who's already given me great feedback on it. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next video, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.